Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about pyrosilicate, right? Or this is also called, uh, called as sorosilicates, right? So what are these? Let us see them, right? So this pyrosilicate, as I have explained, so here two tetrahedral units are joined by one oxygen atom, right? So uh, we know that in orthosilicate, the hybridization of this uh, silicon is sp3 so its shape or geometry is tetrahedral right so tetrahedral so in this is about orthosilicate orthosilicate right so in pyrososilicate that is pyrosilicate what happens one unit of orthosilicate will add to one more unit of orthosilicate how it will do that is nothing but like this so this is orthosilicate so this oxygen is there right so this oxygen what it will do it will again add to one more unit of like this si o o and o right so here what happens uh, i have told oxygen bonded to two bonds it will be neutral it won't get any charge oxygen bonded to only one bond will get negative charge so here negative here negative and here negative so here similar here negative here negative and here negative so this is nothing but two tetrahedral unit uh, joined by a single oxygen atom right so this is how and also the same structure we can draw it like this also so uh, we draw this uh, pyrosilicates like this so this is the oxygen atom and to this silicon is attached above one more silicon uh, sorry oxygen here oxygen here oxygen right so to this oxygen one more silicon above one silicon uh, sorry oxygen here oxygen and here oxygen right so uh, this is the structure which you which you will see in books right so here what you should understand this dot represents silicon and circle represent oxygen atom right so this is and also you should uh, one thing you should remember there will no be oxygen oxygen bond only a to represent in two dimension structure we will draw like this it doesn't mean oxygen oxygen bond is there right only silicon oxygen bonds will be there right so negative charge i haven't added so here one negative 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 and negative so this is the structure and this is the oxygen which is common to both the unit right so in pyro silicate you should remember this is the important point only one oxygen is shared between two unit right only one oxygen is shared between two unit so this is the thing you should remember about pyrosilicate right so uh, orthosilicate orthosilicate the general formula is what si o4 4 minus the cation can be zirconium beryllium magnesium so many things zinc also we saw right so zinc these are the cations they will form some uh, uh, reaction they will do and they will form some ions right so compound they will form for example like uh, zinc silicate right like this they will form so this is orthosilicate and and this is the general formula of this orthosilicate what is the general formula SiO4 4 minus right so for this pyrosilicate the general formula is like this Si2 O7 6 minus which we have seen so here if you see the structure see si2 oxygen if you count uh, silicon one silicon two silicon oxygen one two three four five six seven so it is si2 o7 negative charge if you see one two three four five and six six minus so it is the general formula of this pyrosilicate si2 o7 six minus which i have written it right so let us see few examples of this uh, uh, pyrosilicates so these are the examples i should tell you so one is throteocytite i don't know how you are going to pronounce it but i have written so the spelling is t h o s t e v s i t i t e throteocytite so th that contains candium scandium pyrosilicate 
this is scandium pyrosilicate so its formula is scandium c twice silicon to o7 right so uh, we know that uh, th this anion part is there right so anion part will will determine the structure i have told you only cations will be 3 plus so 2 times of scandium so it will form a neutral compound that is nothing but this one scandium pyrosilicate turteocytite you can call one more example if you want to know that is hemi morpite so hemi morpite is one more example what is this hemi morpite so this is nothing but it is the mixture it is mixture of zinc pyrosilicate and zinc hydroxide and the formula they have given it like this so this is zn3 si twice o7 dot zn oh twice and there is a molecule of hydrate that is water water of hydration we call it is right so this is the formula right so these two examples are enough for you just you remember if they ask you you can reproduce it in the paper right so this is the about pyrosilicate or sorosilicate other name of pyrosilicate in this class let us see uh, about cyclic silicates